Think about indigenous people. The Throughout story history. they've been befriended yeah. and then con- and then yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're the inside. indigenous people. You know why? Because <laughs> they got us here. The pro- Before we get into it, bro, go follow this Discord link, bro. All right, follow follow the Discord link. I made a community post about it. It's in there for you. <laughs> it's in there for you. All right, go check it out. All right, and um, yeah, really and truly, this Discord link. This is for people like you know you possibly I don't know. The ones that hate or the ones that love. It's for everybody to join. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't do nothing crazy, bro. Don't do nothing crazy in the Discord now. Yes. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. That one. That guy. You. That guy. That particular guy. You. This. You. Don't do it. Don't even do it, bro. Don't even do it, bro. So, let's go on ahead. Let's check it out. So, tell me... Tell me, Africa, why y'all never mentioned the fact that y'all really be uh, having situations and this ain't no, this ain't no motherland, bro. This ain't it, bro. So y'all see that the fact that this crack is going straight down here, this crack is, is, it's always been like that, bro. See, I found a map from the 1400s, bro from the 13, 1400s by the Chinese. And they literally depicted the same thing that there was once a little body of water right where it's cracking through. So, so it was originally like this, bro. It was originally like this in Africa. And the fact that most of y'all stuff over there is literally a savanna, bro. It is literally a savanna, bro. Here's the map I'm talking about. Did I mean Hong Ting Tu? Yeah, that's all. Is a Chinese world map made in 1389 during the Ming Dynasty? The map which replicates the curvature of the Earth centers on China, but also indicates Africa and Europe. And maybe that's the reason why you guys experience so much flooding and go to thousands of homes damaged or destroyed after days of heavy rain. But though, we're supposed to go back. Go back where? Go back where? To a flood, bro? Go back to a flood, bro? And this is talking about the geographical location that y'all telling us that we come from, bro. This ain't no shade to individuals, bro. This is, we talking about a landmass. We talking about history. This is history with a little bit of humor. For sure. For sure. So I need y'all to really keep up with me and pay attention to what's actually being presented. Don't get in your feelings, man. We don't care. We don't care. Y'all literally got this crack going through it, but y'all trying to keep it hush hush. Y'all can really say that y'all together like a unit. Y'all really not the same bloodlines, bro. Look at him taking a selfie too. Look at that. What is the uh, future Rift Valley? The Indian Ocean flooded the Rift Valley between the continents creating the Rift Sea. Today, Africa and Asia are connected by the triangle of the Sinai Peninsula. Eventually, the Red Sea Rift will separate Africa and Asia entirely. And connect the Mediterranean and Red Seas. Alright? Strength this response to the DRC's worst floods in 60 years and growing, you know, Korea outbreak. Look at that, man. Alright, take a good look at that, bro. How could we have come from a place that is continuously getting flooded, bro? Flooding causes chaos in DR Congo. Capital. And all the times I try to like bring up this map right here. You know what I'm saying? Like a map that kind of looks like this. Because really and truly the world was not the way we kind of imagined it today. It wasn't. A lot of the land has sunk under the water. For sure. For sure. What was that? Oh, yeah, that's for another live. That's for another video. But let's get into it, right? Because you really try to sit up there and cap, bro. Let's go. Let's look, let's look at this video, right? We're going to go on to the next little piece right here. Still coincides with them trying to think that we come from Africa. So this, I'm going to give you a backstory real quick. All right. This African, that's Nigeria, decided to 
tell us like he tried to play me basically he came up in my lab i asked him i said you look nigerian bro are you nigerian i said are you nigerian when he first got up in my lab what did this dude tell him he told me that he was from america that his folks was from america and he told me no he told me no so i'm trying to figure out like how many Africans is really doing this and how serious is this like the fact that one of them would do it? How many others are doing this, bro? Infiltrating, doing little weird stuff. I don't know, I'm suspicious now. I'm very suspicious. There's only one group of people in Africa, modern day Africa that are called Africans and that's the Afrikaners. Everybody else goes by their tribe, okay? Their clan. They're the only African. Uh, African in Dutch is African. When the Dutch brought their Africans over here, they brought the Afrikaners over here. If you go look at South Africa, you'll see where they had TPs out there in South Africa. They used TPs as a command post. They used TPs for refugees. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what's interesting? I mean, even something weird is going on with them Afrikaners considering the location it was originally at which was in North Africa by Tunisia, which was originally Carthage. But, I mean, we can talk about that later. A colony of Carthage. Uh, a colony. I think a it's very interesting that you think that I wasn't going to be able to tell that you was a Nigerian by looking at you when you first came to this platform. Maybe you were diving into places where people can't tell the phenotype. But over here, we definitely pay attention to how people look and operate, especially in their spirit. And they saw well, listen, I listen, you all don't look any different from me. You all you don't, don't look any different from a lot of that. Oh, my cheekbones, you like no oh, please, don't like, go I don't oh, teach me an African that looks like my grandfather. You can go look at my page. I literally don't I have seen your pictures. You do not look like an Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Use a five G five six five six Hold on, bro. Right, because it it's funny, right? Because we can tell, but y'all can't tell. That's the difference. Oh, no, I can tell. I can tell that you are. You can tell. <laughs> oh, so you can tell. So what I look like? Okay, but, but, but besides you knowing who I am, what do I look like then? You look like someone You look like someone who's of African descent. Okay, uh, okay, okay. All right. Now, really pay attention to what he just said. There's only one group of people. I think it's very interesting. That's really hilarious. Um, use a five G, five six, five six. It's funny, right? Because it it is, it's funny, right? Because we can tell, but y'all can't tell. That's the difference. Oh no, I can tell. This man said, "I can tell." Really listen to what how he contradicted himself in the next what two minutes. Watch, watch this. He can tell. He can tell. So what I look like? Okay, but 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 besides you knowing who I am, what do I look like then? You look like someone. You look like someone who's of African descent. You look like somebody who's of African descent, right? I just showed y'all what Africa looks like and what's going, what is happening to Africa, right? All right, that's the first thing. The second thing is we're gonna keep this in mind. The fact that he said that he can tell. And then he said, you look like somebody of African descent. And the delusion. Where do I look like I'm from? And I do, and you know what? I do look very Nigerian. You know why? Because it's documented that there were Igbo people that came here through the transatlantic slave trade, who we in fact are, that you all don't want to believe, but that's okay. Lady, talk him to America. Mm. So why? Why did he teach me this in the third grade and fourth grade? In Africa. In Africa. Why was it being covered up? Why are they trying to make things like and and that's a big problem. Oh, I so think. you think that's what's happening? You think that Africans actually are trying to cover up slavery themselves? That place was even called the Atlantic. We? We? Atlantic Ocean back then. So how was it a transatlantic slave trade? It was Ethiopian Ocean. Make that make sense. It was Atlantic over here, but it was Ethiopian over there. That's not no transatlantic slave trade. The, wait, the wait. transatlantic was between South America, taking them to the islands, taking them to North America. Yeah. Listen, why are you getting so caught up on the names of things? Listen. Because names matter. Why are you getting so caught up on the names of things? You listen to how this Nigerian or whoever this guy is really tries to play and run game on us like we're slow. You know what I'm saying? Names matter. You know, don't it, act no, like it, it don't. You know why it doesn't matter? Because listen. Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, now names don't matter. That's so no, funny. You know, 
listen, listen. It doesn't matter because this is Africa. Africa. Wait, 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 wait. If I call you, if I call you, wait. If I call you, if I call you, that's fine. This is Africa. Then over here is Africa. Hold on, okay. Just things don't matter. Can y'all hear me? I think some y'all be blanking out. I need y'all to stay with the host. The host is trying to maintain order. So, uh, I still don't want to dodge the fact that you really are a Nigerian, right? And the fact that you came up here and lied more than once, considering that you still busted, right? Because you still busted. We know you're Nigerian. And you're still trying to convince us that you are one of us. I got up on the screen how y'all look. We can tell. And I, and I always do this, right? And I tell this to the kin folk. If they don't look like your kin folk in your, in your house, and when you go to the cookout and they don't look, bro, they are trying to bamboozle you. Because y'all don't look like none of my kin folk. You don't look like none of my kin folk in my, in my, um, in my circle. That's, that's really Cherokee Indian. Like, look at me, bro. Come on, bro. Like, look at my face, bro. Look at how my cheekbones and how it's like up here, right? Look at my eyes. Look at the proportions of my face. Look at their face up on the screen, bro. Look at their faces, bro. Do we honestly look like, like, come on, bro. It will completely negate the doggone skin complexion, right? I don't even have the same skin complexion. I don't get how you, some people are blinded by the fact that I don't look like I'm Nigerian. That's how a Nigerian looks. That's how a Nigerian looks. I don't look like them. Please know the difference. Told me talking about some of you trying to say that you Cherokee Indian. I know you not. I can look at you. So stop trying yeah, to yeah, stay with me. Well, I never even said I was Cherokee Indian. I told you that was a myth that was circulating around in my family. You know, that's that's crazy, right? I mean, you know, because you kind of think about it, right? You kind of like Cherokee Indian, Cherokee Indian, a myth. It feels like they try to take advantage of what's popularized, right? The main tribe, Cherokee, this, that, and the other, so they can try to latch on. You know what I'm saying? These Africans coming over, they oh, they really think they Cherokee. They not really Cherokee. So I'm going to show y'all how dumb they are by pretending i'm one of them and saying that i'm cherokee and that anybody can be cherokee based on what they, come on bro you can't run game like that so easily with us bro we've been fooled already so we, we we know how to navigate and pick out who really trying to play with us like we dumb bro we know how to see we know what we seeing bro so it really and truly when we get down to the nitty-gritty and we try to ask y'all exactly where you come from and all that other stuff, and you don't really want to tell me, bro. We know what you up. To. We know what you up to. We know what you up to, bro. We know it. That you up to something fishy, bro. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you from. Tell us what tribe you come from. Let it be known. <laughs> Let it be known. And you said he was from Florida. You said that he was from. Come on, man. Come on, man. From Florida, G. Hold on a second. Now. Come on, man. Hold on a second. You said that right. you was from Florida. A Florida, a Cherokee Indian for Florida. We talking about right now? Come on, man. You a Cherokee Indian on, from man. Florida? And, and it's funny, right? Because somebody just came in here and exposed you in the comment section and said that you just said that you was an immigrant. I never said I was an immigrant. Oh, here we go. Where did that ever come out of my mouth? Somebody said that you was a first generation. You said it on somebody else's live. That you was a first I generation Nigerian. All right, back a little bit of more backstory, right? More people was coming in saying that he was in other people's lives and he was an African live saying that he was Nigerian. You know, after I was I asked, after I questioned him, he lied to me. You realize that people take things that you say and misconstrue, right? Okay, let's do this. Um, let's do this. Like, we're gonna go back to Kay's question. Where was your great, 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 great grandparents located mm -hmm. in America? I told you, sir. Sir, I've told you a million times that literally everyone in my family that I know of was born on American soil, to my knowledge. No, I'm not talking about American soil because you're trying to take advantage of the vagueness and the confusion. What state were you born in? <laughs> oh, man. What Notice that little gig, that what little laugh. 
My people were born in Florida. All of the people that I know, they were born in the state of Florida. No, your fifth great grandparent was born in Florida. I, yeah. sir, I yeah, haven't been able to go back like that far, but I can tell you that through doing. So you don't know who you are, right? If you trying to say, all right, you you plan this and other, you really not from there or whatever. I don't know. First and foremost, bro, it's you got two options on the table. Either you don't know who you are. Right, but I know you run a game though, or you a Nigerian trying to play me, and you think that you can have enough ego to come up here and spout whatever rhetoric that you have behind whatever authority that you conceived in your mind. Come on, bro. Why haven't you? Why haven't you? Why don't you want to know your ancestors' names um, and, and, and your birthdays? Okay, I get the vibe that he a Nigerian trying to bamboozle us. Can you, can you put me on a big screen? I want I want to know what tribe my my great grandfather where he fit in at in Africa. Now notice how me and Kay's grandfather have similar features, and how me and this guy do not. What tribe is he? <laughs> you all listen. You all make you. I don't. What tribe don't is he? Question. Do you all believe that you're talking to someone who has a very low IQ that I can't like? You know. Which least, tribe is he, sir? I'm asking you a question. Just answer the question. What tribe is he in Africa? He could be any tribe from Africa. Just, oh my just, God! Are you if kidding you're going me? Solely by listen, listen, man. You can't go. Your by soul is testifying against is. you. You don't even realize it. You can't even listen. You can't go by someone's phenotype to determine. He has red hair too. So he looks like somebody from Africa, but you can't go by nobody's phenotype. Remember I told y'all about the contradiction that's going to be coming out of this man's mouth? All right. He has red hair, too. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a irrelevant You just argument. said you can't go by phenotype, but you just said that I look like I'm just completely African descent. He, te crazy. he testifying against himself. He don't even realize it. You know, all of this is, all of this Bingo. is recorded. All of this is recorded. This is this is an original European right here. This is the bloodline of an original European. His mom is from Ireland. His dad's from Wales. Not African. Mm. Not, 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 not the black nobility, but the, his hair's red. The ruddy royalty. Done his genealogy, he goes back to the, the royalty before they got kicked out and shipped to the Caribbean, which now my people are on that side. They're in Jamaica. And you can ask the Jamaicans about the redheads in Jamaica. Would you know that was my grain over there too, right? You know that, right? This is why, this is why I'm about to equip the camp folk with realizing who Nigerians are. Because y'all think y'all slick. I've been, I've yep. been looking at that. Yep, you got to do that, bro. Y'all got to do that. That's why you couldn't got to do that. Equip and yourselves. That's why you will not bamboozle me. Equip yourselves. It's the same reason why when I asked you yesterday specifically what do you what, what do you identify as you didn't want to answer it because you knew that if you because if you answered it then you would have tried to go around this whole oh, thing is recorded I nobody heard you ask that yesterday night you don't remember me asking you specifically how you identify yourself as didn't I tell I you I asked you like I asked you what term or what label do you go by to do because because I because the reason I asked was because I knew that there's some and I told you yesterday I told you that I was Cherokee. I told you that. Mm. Okay, well, I, I didn't mm. recall. Mm. But if I didn't hear that, I apologize. But I, I could have sworn that I asked you and... But, okay. So you identify as being Cherokee? Yes, I'm Cherokee. The one you just tried to... Yes, yeah. I'm Cherokee. Okay. And look at my baby. What part of Africa is my baby from? They wish. That could be this what? cute. That, you what, know, listen, what? I'm not going to even get into that because, like, I, I'm not even going to get into that because you can't go by someone's phenotype to determine what they are, ma'am. I mean, she just told honey that she was African, bruh. Like, I mean, obviously, she's not American Indian, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, like, and, and, and listen, regardless of how I do, this is why, and I literally have phenotypes of it. So, if you can't tell by looking at somebody if they're African or not then you are not making any sense that's your whole like thing you look at it. there's nothing else behind that that's your whole argument you look at it. so you're talking against yourself these people talk against themselves 
they're like that, right? Two tongue, like split tongue. They got a split tongue, bro. High cheek. Y'all watch out for these Africans, bro. Watch out for some of these Nigerians, man. They really be trying to play with us. They really be trying to play with us, bro. Eyes, like you're hey, honey, you got a this picture that question. you can show? And y'all really going to realize this, too. Y'all see a lot of these people, they got commercials. They got all types of stuff coming out. These Nigerians are taking over movies, the medical field. They all up doing stuff they ain't got no business doing on land that do not belong to them. With inventions and places that does not belong to them. This is my question. Even if you feel like you're doing stuff to our bodies, our bodies, this is not your body. It's on my page. My stuff not private. Why, go do a DNA test and come back and tell me who you are. Why would we do a DNA test? These people have never. Do a DNA test. Who are the DNA test companies owned by? Not us. So he telling y'all, either believe me or go where? Exactly. Well, 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 well. Listen. It's like as if we don't have our own level of comprehension to determine what we are we need other people to do that and maybe we allow these people to get too comfortable because we put our trust and faith and love into a lot of these people that don't have the same love for us <coughs> africa that we need to start to wake up and realize they don't have our best interests at heart they say it with their mouths but they actually say another thing and the fact that they get to a level to even when they say our grandmothers lie to us that level of disrespect is not to be tolerated. Let's, um, let's, hold on, hold, hold on one second, hold on one second, hold on one second. Did we just told you about the DNA test and how DNA tests are not being properly, uh... I understand that, but even if you feel it's a scam, why, why not, why... Don't interrupt me. Excuse you. <laughs> um, hey, yeah, hey, hey. just told you. It is what it is, bro. If I'm talking, don't interrupt the host. The host is talking. All right, don't ask the... you how DNA tests yeah. operate and how majority of the population in Africa do not deal with DNA tests. And, and, and it's funny enough that the people in America, right, our blood type, our, our blood is found predominantly in America. So taking the DNA test is going to point us right back to America. Good day, sir. Good day. Now he tight because I won't let you interrupt me. You need to have some decorum when you come up here. Yes, some indeed. Respect. Yes, indeed. Hey, man, y'all see how they moving, man. They move kind of funny, dunny. So really and truly, bro, this is a video for y'all. Man, watch. Watch out, bro. Watch out, bro.